Cancer, I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here is your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, May 7th to Sunday, May 13th, 2018. Now before I get started, I just have two announcements. First of all, Uranus in Taurus is coming very soon and I'm going to do a free live video on Facebook uh, this Wednesday, May 9th at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific time. If you are interested in learning about what this means, what part of your life will be blown open, totally revolutionized by Uranus entering it, especially in a sign it doesn't like to be in too much, please join me on Facebook to see that live video, which I have a special group created for and you can see the link down below in my description box. Also, um, May 2018, my webinar, it is available, the recording, if you would like to purchase it. This week, there could be some huge conflicts or negotiations coming up, especially in regards to your relationships, your time, and your money. Could be some frustrations as well with a lot of stuff going on. And if you want to know how to handle that better, want more in-depth, detailed information, in addition to this weekly horoscope, I encourage you to look at that, the link down below in my description box, um, in order to help you navigate some of the energies, okay? So that's what we've got there. Now, Cancer, for your horoscope, this week we have, oh, normally, sorry, I like to write your name on the chart. <laughs> this is you, your first house. What we've got on Monday is the sun right here in Taurus, in your 11th house of your goals, your dreams, and your hopes for the future. So I think that's what you're thinking about this week, Cancer, is where your life is going, how you can feel more comfortable, relax into your life, or associate with the right groups of people who are meant for you. Now on Monday, the sun here in your 11th is in a sextile here with Neptune. And Neptune's in your 9th house of something new and different that you have not done before. So I think what's going on is that you're really starting to see a new vision for your life in a much better way, hopefully feel more positive and more optimistic about where your life is going. Um, maybe as well you're starting to associate with new or different groups of people and to have new dreams and aspirations that are finally, hopefully, you're feeling, starting to feel like are coming more and more into fruition, all right? So I think that is what is going on. As you're starting to see this new life for yourself, maybe associate with new people and hopefully feel much better about it all, though I think there are maybe a few details that it is you're trying to work out to make sure everything is just right. Those details for you, Cancer, are going to be right here where Mercury is, in your 10th house of your career, um, also of your reputation, your social standing, and your life direction, okay? Because we do have Mercury in your 10th making a square to Pluto also on Monday right here and Pluto for you is in your seventh of partnerships and relationships N normally of the one-on-one -on -one variety so a marriage partner a business partner or just someone that's close to you that you feel beholden to uh, a friend or even someone that you sent a contract in this house could come in okay um, and I think what's going on um, is at this time is that maybe there are a lot of conversations that you're having with the other people in your life about where your life is going. I think you're starting to envision a future that you like better, starting to realize who your tribe is, who the group of people are that you're supposed to be with, but it's just working things out here maybe with your one-on-one -on -one relationships to get the other people in your life that you're intimately close with on board with this direction that your life is now going in um, and to work out some of the details there. So not so it's not just just you putting your life in a better place, feeling much better, getting more excited, associating with groups of people, but so that your closest relationships understand too what you need, how you need to work with them, what your time and your resources are going to look like, and so you can move forward on those things. Because this is a square, because this is Pluto, these conversations that you're having with relationships about your life and where you see it going, your career, your reputation could be a little bit hard. Um, but I think if you have these conversations, maybe make some changes that you need to make in the way that you do things or communicate things, it will help you to feel better. While that's going on, as well, on Tuesday, we have Venus also coming into a square here with Neptune. And Venus is in your 12th house of your insides and your spirituality, um, which could definitely bring up perhaps... Um, 
yeah, some confusion now about who your identity is in some way. I feel like you're starting to feel better about where your life is going, the vision that you see for yourself. You're working a lot to bring people on board with you, even if some hard conversations up. And I think what you're realizing as all of this is going on is that now that your life is changing, you're seeing things differently. You yourself have to have a new perspective on life from the inside out. You have to think of yourself differently, overcome the past. You have to adjust your internal perspective and your spiritual, emotional states to get on board now with this new vision of your life that you are creating so that you can, you can go all in on it and find more of that peace that it is that you're looking for. And I think you're trying to figure out how to let some things go and what you need to feel more comfortable in your life so you can step into these new chapters, having people with you on your side in the way that you want to need. Okay, so that's happening there. Then on Wednesday, as we move further throughout the week, we've got the sun in your 11th and in opposition with Jupiter here in your fifth of happiness. So what that could definitely bring on Wednesday perhaps is you really wanting to start to work more steadily towards your goals, towards a future that you see for yourself that I've been talking about here at the beginning of this reading. But maybe there are some changes still that you're trying to make in life so that you can be happy as you reach some of these goals. The fifth house also rules kids, it also rules romantic relationships, and it also rules leadership. Uh, so maybe there are some changes that you need to make to your leadership style <laughs> um, before you go ahead reaching some goals. Maybe there's changes you need to make with how you work with kids or a romantic relationship or some kind of passion project that you're working on so that you really can begin to envision a future that's better for yourself that I think you've been doing and to start to move forward on it in a much better way that is coming in and needing to figure out how to change a few things in your life that you need so that you can be happier right and start moving towards things feeling much more secure and confident with what has gone on all right then as we move further throughout the week so many things happening um, on friday and saturday we get the sun in your 11th in a trine with pluto here in your seventh and i think what that could bring here on um, Friday and Saturday is you finally start to, I want to say, work better with your relationships or change some of your relationships to help you reach some of these goals and dreams that you've been thinking about and that you've been talking about. Maybe you had some hard conversations that came in at the beginning of the week about where you saw your life going um, with other people. And then I think once we get to the end of the week, perhaps other people start to have more an idea of what you want and need. Uh, now that things have come up in conversations and people start to help you more and more as you move further and further through the week um, help you do the things you want and need help you accomplish and achieve and work towards some vision of your future that is better for you and really help you start to meet and associate with as well new groups of people that are right for you so even if some hard conversations or negotiations come up at the beginning of the week I think by the end of the week hopefully the people in your life start to understand what you want and to aid you in achieving those things that you've really been trying to work out to move forward okay Okay, um, coming on there. And there could be still lots of communication though, even though I think people are starting to understand more and more of what you want. Because right after that happens on Saturday and Sunday, we also have Mercury here in your 10th and a square with Mars in your 7th. So I think that can definitely bring towards the end of the week, Saturday and Sunday, lots of communication uh, with people. It can be very intense communication, very swift uh, with Mars involved. It can be a little bit aggressive too that you have with other people about just where your life is going, okay? And I see that being a big theme this week. You're getting an idea of what you need to move forward and of what few changes you need to make to be happier as you reach some goals and dreams. And it's just working it out with people. You know, who's in your life? Who's not? How are they in your life? How do they support you or do they not coming in that I think you're just trying to figure out to bring everyone on board. And I think people can be super useful for you, Cancer, to help you do the things you want, to help you associate with people that you haven't associated with before, that understand you, that get you. But it's just a matter of making sure very clearly that the other people in your life are on your side <laughs> or that they know what you want before they can help you and open up some doors for you that I think could be the thing that you were trying to work out this week. Um, okay, and if you can do that, I do see some good things because on Sunday, after some of these hard conversations, we get Mercury in a conjunction with Uranus in your 10th house um, of career. Also bringing up, I think, um, either some unexpected conversations or some unexpected news about your career that could come in here at the very, very end of this week and the next week, or you yourself finally feel like you've reached a point where you can more freely express yourself, where you can more freely and more authentically put your 
yourself in the direction that you want it to go in and are finally beginning to open up to let everyone see who you are authentically to move forward on okay um, so that's what I see starting to come in here Mars as well beginning to enter its shadow period okay um, as well making relationships super important so even though you're working a lot of stuff out in your relationships and beginning to ideally by the end of this week especially if you've been having the hard conversations in the right ways <laughs> Um, even though by the end of this week, you're beginning to feel more free, hopefully, to express yourself, to put your life in a place that you like better, to feel like you have the reputation that really resonates with you and you're not being caged down by an old reputation, an old career you don't like anymore. Um, while that's happening, I do think there is going to be some stuff in the next month or two about relationships that you are going to have to continue to go over to constantly check in with people to make sure they get you, they know what you want and are on board with you. But I do think it is possible to have people get you <laughs> um, if you just stay at it and don't hide who your true self is and what you really want and need to feel like your life is going in a direction that you can be most free to be yourself in okay so that's what I've got for you cancer your horoscope um, your tarot card <laughs> for this week is the 10 it's a ten of swords reverse this card to me is definitely an ending and uh, that's coming in maybe you're resisting an ending in some way but i definitely see with uranus changing signs very soon in your 10th house the ending of a long story with your career going on maybe you thought one life direction was good for you one career you thought this was going to be your life and then all of a sudden things are changing going in another direction here you have a different career things are not quite what you expected and i think this is saying if it, things are not what you thought they would be if you you don't have the career that you thought you would have you're doing things right <laughs> um, and this is exactly where you should be and you should not be afraid to do the unusual route or to do something that you feel like is more important to you inside um, and I think that will get you far if you allow yourself to let go of your hold on the past and to see all the beautiful potential the future has to offer okay so that's what I've got for you this week cancer thank you so much for watching my horoscope if you like it please like it on YouTube subscribe to my channel share with your friends and I will talk to you later